Hey everyone, hope you're doing well today. I had a few people ask me about the best OBS streaming settings recently, so I was going to go ahead and share what I used whenever I decide to stream. We're going to go ahead and start off with YouTube streamers and then do Twitch afterwards because it is slightly different. In the stream settings under service, we want to select ourselves YouTube HLS, which stands for HTTP Live Streaming, which is basically a much higher quality and good looking version of the basic RTMPS. Next, under output, we have either the option of simple or advanced view, and for the purpose of this video, we'll go ahead and stay with simple. The main determining factor here with quality for YouTube will be bitrate, which bitrate for those of you who don't know is bits of data that make up a piece of digital content, whether it's a photo or video. So higher will look better while lower will look worse. What are the trade-offs? Well, for starters, it's all dependent upon your available internet speeds, specifically your upload speeds. If you have anything under like 15 megabits upload, it might be hard for you to output a high quality stream and too high a bitrate can cause you latency inside of the game or item you're streaming. And then as you've guessed, too low will look bad and make people want to not watch. So what do we put here? As a bare bones minimum, you should look at a bitrate of 4,500, which I believe equates to 4.5 megabits. Yeah, you can see how it can start racking up a lot of bandwidth usage. Keep in mind, 4,500 will look far from pretty, but it'll get the job done. If you want a stream enjoyable to watch, you want almost double that at at least 8,000 bitrate. Me personally, I use 10,000 and the quality looks amazing. So play around with your bandwidth with and bitrate usage, try to find a good in-between if you're strapped for bandwidth. Audio bitrate is something you don't want to cheap out too much on. Audio is just as important to a good stream as a good video quality is. Would you want to listen to something like this? Or something like my microphone for hours at a time. So here the lowest I would go is 128 bitrate, and that'll sound just fine, but I leave mine on the default 160. Onto video encoders. X264 is going to use your CPU, while NVENC will use your GPU more. And AMD GPU users here, I heard your GPU encoder is horrible and hasn't been updated in a while. That information is from 2021, so I don't know if it still applies today. You guys might just need to test either option you have and see what works best for you. Back to X264 and NVENC. It said that NVENC can be a significantly faster encoder, and on the Google Dev blog page, they said that you can get anywhere from 25 to 50% better data compression at the same video quality compared to X264. So in simple terms, less bandwidth is needed for better quality. And Vink is highly more optimized than the standard X264, so unless you have a really good CPU, then you'll want to use NVENC. For the encoder preset, higher is faster and lower quality, while lower is slower but has better quality, obviously taking up more resources. You want to start at P5 and go from there whether you need to lower the quality or higher the quality. On the video tab, you want to have the quality set to 1440p because of the way you YouTube streaming works. 1080p streaming just looks bad for some reason when you're set to it, but if you stream 1440p, it'll look much better, even if it's still only being viewed on 1080p. For a smooth viewing experience, you'll obviously want to keep it to 60fps. It's not worth doing higher because it gets capped out, and it's not worth doing lower because choppy footage tends to look really bad. The last thing you'll want to play around with is priority and hardware acceleration. Many people recommend leaving OBS to above normal to help give it the extra attention it deserves for ensuring a smooth streaming experience, and then Hardware Excel will use the GPU to help ensure OBS runs extra smoothly as well. Onto Twitch streamers. In the stream tab here, you want to go ahead and set your service to Twitch. And the main thing you want to do here is cap your bitrate to 6000 because that's what Twitch locks it to according to their website. And even at the bottom here, it says the streaming video bitrate will be set to 6000, which is the upper limit for the current streaming service. Onto the video tab, I believe the max that they allow is 1080p gaming. So you'll want to go ahead and set this to 1920 times 1080. So go ahead and crank that down as well. Fundamentally, those are the main differences and conclude some of what I consider to be the best settings for OBS. I will say that if you notice your GPU usage is way too high, go ahead and either turn down the B frames to zero or go ahead and disable psychovisual tuning because both of those do tend to use GPU, but you will suffer a hit to your quality. That everyone, have a good one, love you all, and I will see you in the next one.